Hi there, and welcome to the latest Storygo Astronomy video cast. Today we're going to look at the subject of redshift, what it is, and how astronomers use it. First, we need to have a little look at spectroscopy. Now, spectroscopy is the detailed study of light from an object, and it is, as we just said, a very important tool in astronomy. In order not to repeat myself with regards to the spectrum and the electromagnetic spectrum, um, please check out my video, the links above now, into the electromagnetic spectrum itself, because that looks at it in more detail. Spectrometers are instruments which spread light out into its wavelengths, which create a spectrum. And within this spectrum, astronomers can study both emission and absorption lines, which are the fingerprints of atoms and molecules. An emission line occurs when an electron drops to a lower orbit around the nucleus of an atom and loses energy. An absorption line occurs when electrons move to a higher orbit by absorbing energy. Now each atom has a unique spacing of orbits and can emit and absorb only certain energies or wavelengths. Therefore the location and the spacing of the spectral lines is unique for every atom. Now, once we know the position of these emission and absorption lines, due to laboratory experimentation, we can compare these lines with light from other more complex objects to see their composition. Like a star, this is how we know what's in our sun. And once we know the composition, we can detect its temperature, density, motion, both its rotation as well as how fast it is moving towards or away from us, due to the changes in the way the lines appear on the spectrum. So let's look at redshift and let's begin by looking or rather actually listening to an audio effect that we experience often in our daily lives, the Doppler effect, best heard by listening to a, a fast moving car, motorbike, train or a police siren. As the vehicle approaches from far away at speed, the sound is at a higher register, but as it zooms past you, the pitch dip lowers. That's called the Doppler effect. As sound moves towards you, the sound waves are compressed and are shorter and have a higher frequency. And as they move away, they spread out or stretched and the pitch lowers. Well, light behaves exactly the same. As light waves approach us, they compress and have higher frequencies, and as they move away from us, the light waves elongate and shift into lower frequencies. The short approaching light is called blue shift, while the longer receding light is called red shift. So there you go, red shift is light that's moving away from you. Now we can use this red-blue shift to detect several things. The movement of individual stars in a galaxy the speed of a galaxy's rotation, the speed of a galaxy's motion in the universe, which brings us to the final piece in the redshift jigsaw, the speed of the expansion of the universe. The furthest galaxies are redshifting further and further away from us, showing that not only is the universe expanding, but its speed of expansion right now is getting faster. And that's all there is to redshift. It's not complicated. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at redshift. It's not such a complicated subject as many people think. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. So take care for now and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.